Hi, this is a quick overview of Conversionizer. Uh, this is installed on a site that's been used for Facebook marketing uh, and is also collecting SEO traffic at the moment. Now I've installed Conversionizer on this site and it's been collecting data for about uh, about a week. Uh, and, well actually no, for a month, there we go, from the 1st of January through to now. And um, so what I'll do is go through uh, each part. There's a lot to it so I won't spend too much time. You can look into that deeper but um, basically I can show you how you can use Conversionizer to turn around your sites and your online business. So the first thing we see is the Conversionizer dashboard and on the, on the dashboard we can see this is a calculator um, and the idea, well the point of this is to maximize your conversion rate which is the whole point of Conversionizer. And um, so what we can do is we can we can set a, an average sale. So this was actually promoting a ClickBank product, and if we set an average sale, let's say it was forty-seven dollars, just as a guess, and um, the um, conversion rate. Let's say if it's at seven percent, then you'd be earning seventeen one thousand seven hundred and thirty-seven dollars gross revenue. Uh, so now the whole point is to increase the conversion rate so that our revenue increases and notice our visitors haven't increased so the clicks that we're getting haven't increased we're just converting more of them um, so uh, the whole point of this is to increase your conversion rate and then once you've done that is to scale up your visitors through um, SEO traffic paid traffic whatever you like so um, there's no point in getting lots of visitors if they're not going to buy okay so that's very very handy and keeps you on track the next part here is a statistic snapshot and you get a graph of exactly what's going on straight away. So as soon as you come here, you can pick whatever date range you like um, to get a, a good indication of what's happening. Um, you can look at, look at the number of sales. Um, this hasn't been hooked up yet in terms of the sales and subscribers, but you can, you can um, look at the number of subscribers if you're running an opt-in form and then you can look at the amount of revenue that you're making over this particular period that you've picked. Uh, on the right here is um, automatically every single page and post is recorded in terms of how many clicks you're getting um, or in, um, inbound clicks and sales conversion rates and opt-in conversion rates if you're running a um, opt-in subscription subscriber form. Uh, so um, what I'll cover first is well, let's go into the uh, optimization part and so let's have a look at this particular page here, which has got 49 clicks. And we just click through. Okay, so this is the optimization screen. It's quite simple to use. However, it is, uses all the advanced tracking systems that um, if you use conversion tracking, it can be very complex to use. This is made very simple. However, we, we haven't dumbed it down at all. It's very, very powerful. So the first thing that we can look at is the traffic breakdown. And so what we can look at is what countries are visiting. In this case, it was just the US, but you can, you can get in all different countries here. Uh, whether it's desktop or mobile, what browsers are visiting, people are using. We also have the click data. So every single click we record um, an IP address, what country, what city. If there's a referrer being um, if it's being referred from another site, a lot of times it's blank these days, and if it's part of the split test, which I'll just cover in a second. Uh, and the other point too is if, if we've been hit with referrer spam, we can block this manually, um, a particular refer, which will happen site-wide, uh, so it'll block it from polluting our statistics. There's no other system that does this. If you're using Google Analytics or, or any other conversion um, tracking type system, uh, it's impossible to do this automatically. So we provide a manual process. So if you see you're being hit flat out by uh, referrer spam, then you can block that from polluting your statistics, which is very, very handy because there's no point in having uh, fake statistics. Uh, and you might think things are going really, really well, you're getting lots of traffic, but um, it's not real. It could be just bots, um, actual bots. This, 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 this um, system detects bots as well, um, automated bots, but it also detects referrer spam. Um, the other point uh, that you can, other thing you can do on here is um, split testing. Now split testing is um, 
the best way to increase your conversion rate is to try out, is to get closer and closer to the market. So what you can do is you can add a new split test. It's very, very easy to do. For example, you go add new, you put in a test name, it'll clone the particular page, this, this particular page and then you can go and edit that page, make a quick change to it, set how many times it displays and then it'll start running and it'll distribute the traffic uh, to, to the split test and to the original page and come up with a winner and it, it'll automatically do that for you. It does all the statistical analysis for you uh, and uh, once there's a winner you get an email sent to you and you can come in and promote the winner or you can tick auto promote and you can create a split test and it will auto, auto, once there's a winner, it will automatically change this page to the winning test, which means that your conversion rate keeps increasing. So you can actually turn your site into a conversion machine um, by creating lots of different split tests. Uh, so yes, yeah, split testing, very, very useful, very handy um, and uh, imperative really in terms of um, getting your business really motoring. The other thing here is call to action links. Um, that's a bit, bit more to explain, but the whole point of this is that if you have a particular page and you want them to click on, so for example, this particular page here, um, this has been split tested like crazy, and uh, this is one of the latest particular things, but we want them to click this. Uh, now we can set this up to have it so we can check, we can optimize um, the click-through rate on this link and try different things so we have here we've got a piece of text here we've got a, a uh, an image with a video uh, on it so um, and we can test which things are working better and then in terms of what gets clicked on so that's obviously a very very useful thing these are actually affiliate links of course so very very useful thing to actually get that click through uh, so that's what this call to action links um, part is about. And it's very, very simple to put onto a page using a short code, and I'll, I'll quickly show you that. So that's call to action links. Absolutely imperative if you're going to do this properly. So the next part is so that's how you optimize a page. Very, 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 very quick breakdown, but it's just a quick video. So we can. Um, we can set up conversion pages. So if you're running a site with um, where you're selling digital products, for example, and on here you can, you can say for anybody that goes to this particular um, page, register a conversion for this amount. That's a, that's the thing. Now it integrates with um, Easy Digital Downloads and WooCommerce and a few other products. Um, Convertify is another one and it automatically detects it. Here I've got Easy Digital Downloads um, installed on here just just to um, just an example and it will automatically grab the uh, sale amount uh, which is obviously dynamic and um, register that conversion and you can look at all the particular conversions you can manage all the conversions in this screen and you can update it um, it's very very configurable um, it was built um, as a tool uh, to be used in our business and um, we've decided to make it into a product. So uh, so you can manage conversions, you can manage split tests. The other things that we have um, is in the heavy utilities. So the whole point of, of Conversionizer too is not to use any coding. Um, conversion tracking can get very, very complicated and um, take away from the whole point of actually running a business. Um, regardless of whether you're a programmer or not, um, speed and efficiency is extremely important. So here you can create those action links that I was talking about. You can create a short code, set up affiliate links, uh, sub ID tracking, you can cloak the tag, cloak it so it's a nice looking link, not just a, an ugly affiliate link, and then you can just generate a uh, short code and then just place it on the page. And uh, then you can track um, links that are going outbound. Uh, we also have conversion pixels. So if you're not if you're not using uh, conversion pages, you're not selling a selling a product internally, but you're using if you're you're doing affiliate marketing, for example, uh, you can create a conversion pixel to be put onto a um, vendor's thank you page. Uh, we also have conversion callback URL. So this is very useful for um, affiliate networks 
where you can create a where it will call back to to the conversionizer and say yes you've made a sale and this, and this is what the uh, this is right from the actual click so you can track exactly what's going on um, and there's other things so we've got we've got a full event log so you can see exactly what's going on very very handy for split testing it tells you when emails are being sent what's going on um, statistical analysis and that type of thing it's all automated uh, and if you're testing there's there's um, utilities to to test your particular setup um, and so that's in setting uh, that's utilities in the settings area we have um, just loading up uh, we we uh, have a uh, system where you can um, update the database to get to get your uh, all the country settings done there you have cloaked links so here you can have a um, so you might have a a link uh, those action links that we were talking about before and it might say go that you can change it to whatever you like but that's just the default settings so you can change it you know to download well, check this out whatever you like so so that's quite configurable we also have network conversions API for uh, different affiliate networks um, so they don't use callback URLs or conversion pixels they use um, an instant sale notification and so you can use JVZoo or Clickbank um, in this sense um, you can use any pretty much any uh, affiliate system um, and you can use uh, the as I showed you before um, the callback URLs and conversion pixels the other area is you have email notifications and you can set it to um, send you an email when there's been a conversion uh, and or whether there's been split test wins and you can put an email address in there so you can just sit back uh, set up split tests and um, and have it auto promote your content and um, make your site really work and which is the whole point of it, setting up the site in the first place now wasn't it so that's conversionizer very very quickly I'm sorry this has gone so long um, and um, it's a fantastic tool um, I use this on every single site I've got um, and um, you can really understand what's going on you're not just not in the dark and you can actually move forward and increase your conversion rate which means you can increase your revenue